It's almost spring here and it's time to get my elephant ears ready for going into the garden. In the fall I pull out the bulb from the garden, cut all the, the green leaves off and I've made a video to show you exactly how I do that and how I stored it for the winter. So it's been sitting in a fruit cellar now for several months. It's quite dry. I first check it for rot to see if there's any problems. Anything that's rotten has to be taken off. But this is really good and solid. There's no rot taking place. If you look at the bulb, I have sort of a big mother bulb here and I have some babies all the way around. Different sizes. There's some really tiny ones starting here. So at this point I have to decide what to do with it. I could just plant it the way it is and they would just grow fine. The other option is to take some of these side bulbs off and plant them separately. That would allow me to spread them around in different parts of the garden. Last fall, I had taken this tuber off just to see how it performs when it's separate from the mother plant, and it's fine. In fact, this baby already has another baby coming here and another one here, a tiny one. So I'll pot this up separately. And I think I'm going to take this large side one off here just to show you how that's done. Now at this point, the easiest thing to do is just to grab it and slowly pry it off. And you can see where it was attached. This is now moist. So before I pot this up, it's a good idea to let this dry out for a couple days. So I'll pot this one up separately. And the rest of them I think I'll leave together so I have a nice big plant in the garden. The next step is to pot them up. So we're about six weeks before I can take them outside. It's still fairly chilly here. I'm sitting in a sunroom, it's a cloudy day, so it's just above freezing here. It's a good time to pot these up because these grow quite slowly and they won't really do much until they get warm. Potting them up is pretty simple. I've got a pail here beside me that has pro mix in it, which is my seedling mix, and I'll just use that. Put some in the bottom. Put your tuber in. This is the one that's all dry, so it can be planted today. Cover it with a couple inches of peat moss, pro mix, anything like that will work just fine. I can almost feel the top here. I'll just cover it barely with soil. Now what this needs is warmth and a slight amount of moisture. So I'll put a little bit of water in, but not too much. There's no live roots in here, so it doesn't really need any moisture yet. But we want the bulb to start absorbing some moisture, and it needs warmth. The warmth is going to signal this that it's time to start growing. So I'm going to put it in a warm room in the house. It will slowly start making roots. In about three to four weeks, I'll start seeing a shoot come up. As soon as I see the shoot, I know it's important to give it as much light as I can. And once the shoot is up an inch or two, then I'll start watering a little more. Once it starts growing and it's warm enough outside, it can go into the garden or it can be left in a pot like this. And that's all there is to it at this time of the year. If you start them early enough, this is what they'll look like when it's time to take them outside. Don't worry if yours are not this big. The size will depend very much on the available light that you have. This year I decided to run a little experiment and I split my collection in half and planted half in water and half in soil. I'll make a separate video to discuss the results, but for now let's have a look at what they look like later in summer.